Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to be kind of talking about the Battlefront Beta, the Star Wars Battlefront Beta that came out recently. Um, the beta is now over, and this is pretty much just uh, pre uh, footage I had on my like computer, and now I'm here to kind of share with you guys, show some, show off some gameplay, some of my amazing skills. I'm kidding, I'm actually not that great at this game, um, but yeah, you guys are gonna. I think in this. Uh, in this gameplay, I think I do become Luke Skywalker. I never became Darth Vader, sadly, which kind of sucked. And, yeah, I, I don't know. So I'm just kind of here to talk about the Battlefront beta, kind of my thoughts on the on the beta, how well I think it performed, and if this is something that I think you guys should buy in the future, or even for myself, if I think I should buy this in the future, because normally I wouldn't. So, But anyway, let's just talk about this here. So the Star Wars Battlefront beta, we have not seen... A Star Wars Battlefront game since I have no idea when um, I want to say the last game was on like the PlayStation 2 or something like that like kind of in that generation or GameCube I think it was for GameCube as well because um, I do remember playing one of the Star Wars older Star Wars Battlefront games and it was actually pretty fun and I think I played on the GameCube or something it was some old like like gaming system I, I remember that um, and I it was I've only played it once and the the weird part was is because at the time I was actually playing the infamous the very first infamous game and I I played on inverted controls and so when I played it at my cousin played uh, Star Wars Battlefront at my cousin's house um, the of course the controls were inverted so I kept thinking they were and I kept like turning a direction that I shouldn't have and oh I was just uh, it was just a big mess. It was, I don't know why I kept, I don't know why I stayed on inverted controls. I got used to it actually really fast, which was kind of weird, so, but yeah, um, so yeah, the Star Wars Battlefront beta, it is like a first person kind of shooter game, but it's Star Wars themed, so that's, like, that's the one, like, kind of feel I just love about the game, is that it's a first person shooter game, but you're a soldier in, uh, you're a soldier in, sorry, my phone's kind of vibrating, I was wondering if someone was, like, calling me or something, um, but, like you're a soldier on the battlefield but it's Star Wars and when I was a lot younger I was a big fan of Star Wars I knew like a lot of the characters I watched even the um, old t the TV show it was uh, Star Wars the Clone Wars I like my brother and I would watch that like every Friday night I remember specifically it was on Fridays and I would like come home from school and I would watch it and it, oh man I just like loved that show when I was a kid and um and like I was a big Star Wars fan when I was a kid, and when I played the beta, I'm like, this just gives like a good feel to it, like, because I've been playing Call of Duty for I don't know how many years now, and other first-person shooter games, and now I'm able to play a Star Wars game that's a first-person shooter. So I just think that's just like like those both those mixed together, are just like my childhood and my modern-day video game playing time is just like comes together. It just it just felt great to me for some reason. Um, but yeah, let's just kind of talk about the game here, like what have we experienced in the beta and all that. So there are a lot of different game modes for the Star Wars Battlefront game. Um, you can only play two in the beta, I believe. Um, one of them was called Drop Zone. Um, it basically, in that game mode, it was like a, it was smaller teams than like the gameplay you guys are seeing. And it, I can't, I don't know, it was like played on a different like uh, uh, area, like a different, it was a different map, it was a different like planet, basically. I mean, you had smaller teams than in this game mode, um, and what you would do is you run around to these pods, and your team would have to capture each of these pods, and the team who captures the most pods wins pretty much, and that's, and they're escape pods actually, the most team to capture how many escape pods wins, and that's basically how it was, it was a close quarters kind of battle, it was just, it was basically people versus people, there weren't any vehicles. Um, in this game mode, this one's called Walker Assault, this is the second and only, and there's only, you could only play two game modes in the, uh, beta, I think I might have said that, but I don't know, I'm saying it now anyway, um, but this is the other game mode, a Walker Assault, this is definitely the most popular, this is way, way more fun than the, uh, Drop Zone game mode, um, so in this one, you could actually go in vehicles, as you can see, you can actually get, pick up, like, these drops where, like, you, um, like, you can go into the, if you're the, uh, Imperials, or, like, yeah, they're called Imperials, right, I kind of can't remember the, st like, Stormtroopers, or whatever you want to call them, the bad guys, basically, um, you can pick up like these kind of circular uh, blue things on the ground and you can like go into like vehicles you can go into like uh, tie fighters or like the, any of those like flying vehicles and shoot people on the ground or shoot other enemies up in the air it's, like having dog fights and stuff or you can like uh, get some turrets and put them on the ground or somewhere and like you can start shooting people and when you put them on the ground wherever you want 
Um, you could also go on like ATSTs, I think they're called, like the smaller kind of vehicles, like two legged these two legged things, and you can like walk around. I mean, I've only been in like like two of those, like the whole entire beta. I've only been in like two of them, and like the first time I went in, I like I get destroyed immediately, and it, it, it didn't walk very fast. It seemed like it seemed like it was very slow. Um, and then like the giant ATATs, which I actually have a Lego set that is. Uh, I actually have a Lego set of those uh, giant AT-ATs, and you can actually go into the head of those things, and you can start shooting people. And I remember one, like, there was this one, uh, one time I was playing the beta, um, and I went inside the giant AT-AT's head, and I killed so many people. Um, they do have, like, a time limit when you go in, because you can't really, like, just, you can destroy the AT-ATs, because that is the objectives for the Rebels side. Um, I just killed so many people, it, oh man, it was so much fun. But yeah, basically, I probably should have explained how this uh, Walker Assault game mode works. Basically, um, the bad guys, the Imperials, the Stormtroopers, whatever you want to call them, have to get these two AT-ATs to the Rebels' base and destroy it, and then they win. The Rebels, of course, you might have already guessed this, have to destroy the AT-ATs. And you have to, like, activate these kind of two uplinks in, like, these certain, like, check checkpoint areas, depending where the AT-ATs are at. And once you activate those... Um, you have to wait a certain amount of time to and, like kind of defend them before the enemies like uh, disable them, and it kind of helps like disable the shields of the ATAT so you can take them down easier. And that's basically what you do on the rebel side. It's a very fun game mode. I think I I've only like I've lost so many matches actually in Walker Assaults. I've I've only won like maybe one match and. Um, I don't know, like, it's, it's like such a chaotic game mode, it definitely, like, has that, it is made from, like, one of the developers who made this game was DICE, who also made Battlefield, so it definitely feels like, kind of, like, similar to a Battlefield game, like, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, whatever, like, that's, it kind of has that feel to it, but only it's Star Wars thing, basically, that's kind of how I kind of thought of it, and, so, yeah, I think it's, I, I just, I don't know, this, like, this game, it's just, it just has that awesome childhood feeling to it that it's Star Wars, but it's also a first-person shooter, and it's basically like a, uh, you basically just take a Battlefield game and you turn it into a Star Wars thing. That's kind of how I think of it, um, but only in Battlefield there's a lot more vehicles. I don't know if in, like, in the full game of Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, they'll have a lot more vehicles on the Battlefield. I don't know about that, um, but what's really interesting, I think in Battlefield, in Battlefield 4 anyway, um, I don't know about Battlefield Hardline. I never really played that game. I've only played the beta. Um, that you could go up to 32 player. Yes, in Battlefield 4, you could go up to 32 players on each team. So you could have a server of 64 players, like on Conquest or, or something. And that that's just really chaotic. It's just total warfare when you see that. So, I mean... It's just crazy, but in this game, like, Walker Assault actually has a lot more players than the Drop Zone game mode that we played. Um, in Walker Assault, it goes up to 40 players, and I can't remember if that's 40 players on each team. I think it's 20 players versus 20 players. I think that's I think that's how it works. Um, so it definitely isn't as much players in the Star Wars, uh, in the Star Wars, like, multiplayer battles as there is in Battlefield, anyway. And... So yeah, but I mean, kind of like, try and take away Battlefield here for a second. Kind of talk about what's unique about uh, the Star Wars theme, and I think right there I actually turn into Luke Skywalker. There you go, get some Luke Skywalker gameplay. That's actually this is a good topic to talk about. Um, so like um, earlier I mentioned, you could pick up like these blue circular things, and you could get you can go into a Tie Fighter, or you can go into the head of the ATAT -AT or whatever, and you can actually pick up ones that are heroes and. So Luke Skywalker is considered a hero, and you can, like, be in third-person mode, and you can take out your lightsaber and start, like, dueling a bunch of, like, killing a bunch of people. It's just really fun. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I remember one game, um, when I saw, I think, yeah, I was actually on the, Re was I on the rebel side? I, I can't remember. I think I was on the rebel side, and, uh. And I was I watched Darth Vader going up against Luke Skywalker because Darth Vader is actually another hero. Um, you can play as Darth Vader in like the same match, but for the other team side. And so I watched Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader fight each other. It was so funny too because Darth Vader won actually, and then I had to finish Darth Vader off and I killed him. Um, but I don't know. I just thought that was so cool watching Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader fight each other on the battlefield. Um, but yeah, you can turn to heroes. You can turn to Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. And you can basically just go into third-person mode, jump around, slice people with your lightsaber, which is actually really easy to kill people with the lightsaber. It's just like the movies or TV shows, just one slice with the lightsaber and they're dead, basically. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what, how the heroes work. Um, also, like, how's the progression? Like, how'd the progression um, system go? Like, the ranking up, the weapons you unlocked, all that kind of stuff. So basically, in the Battlefront beta, you can only go up to level 5, which wasn't a very high level, but you could earn, like... Oh, I can't remember what they call them. Credits. Yeah, that's what they call them. They call them credits. Credits is basically the currency in Star Wars. Like, in the Star Wars shows and movies, uh, uh, credits were considered, like, the currency. And in this game, it's the same thing. Uh, it's If you think of, like, COD points from uh, Black Ops... Yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops. If you remember that, you could actually earn, like, COD points. And you earn that, like, once you unlock the weapon, you, you can't just unlock it right away. You have to actually... Uh, spend COD points on that weapon to like actually purchase and use it and the same system works in Battlefront uh, Basically what you do is you unlock a weapon or like a gadget or a grenade whatever it may be or a card You can actually have cards and like do special things with cards, which I'll talk about in a little sec in a second here um, so basically um, Credits are basically kind of like COD points from Call of Duty Black Ops where basically you unlock something and Then if you have enough credits you can actually uh, buy mm -hmm. stuff with the credits and all that kind of stuff so I mean I don't, I don't know, um, but I mean, like, another thing is, is that I, I did actually like the progression system, um, rank 5, it actually was pretty easy to rank up, because I didn't play the beta very much, um, I don't know what the highest level will be in the, when the full game comes out, perhaps they've announced it yet, I don't know if they have or not, um, but yeah, um, you could, there were, very, it was very limited of what you could unlock in the beta, um, but they didn't, like, show any hints of, like, oh, th this, uh, you can, there's this weapon in the game, but you can't play it in the beta or anything like that. That's what it was, like, in the Black Ops 3 beta. It had, like, a classified weapon that you couldn't use in the beta, um, but unless you, like, get the full game, then, you, of course, you can play it. Um, they never had, like, something that said classified in the bi in Battlefront beta, I don't believe, so I'm afraid. That's the one thing I'm afraid when the full game of, uh... Star Wars Battlefront comes out is that if it has very limited of what you can unlock then it's not going to be a very good game because if you think of Titanfall that didn't have very many unlocks it barely had any weapons in the game uh, barely any different Titans and it just got like old quickly um, but yeah I think they will add more weapons into the game uh, there were some pretty good weapons all of them were kind of unique in their own way had like fast fire rate but low damage and low range or something like that I don't know um, so yeah, I kind of like how the system, the progression system works in the Star Wars Battlefront beta, but like my, like my gameplay is about to end here. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the gameplay. Um, so basically, is this a game that I think you guys should actually buy? Should you buy the entire full game? I say wait a little bit, see kind of what the reviews are for the game first, see if what the progression, like if you can unlock a bunch of stuff like you can in Call of Duty or something. Then yeah, I'll go ahead and buy it if you want. But for me right now, I'm not going to buy it because I want, like I just told you, I'm going to wait and see till the full game comes out and see what else is in the game. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating for whatever you guys feel the video deserves. And what did you guys think of the beta? It was a free-to-play beta. Everyone could have played it. I'm sure you guys have. What do you think of the beta? Did you guys like it? Are you going to buy the full game? Let me know down in the comments section. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And I shall catch you guys next time.